Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers with addition. And what we mean by this is either one set of numbers or both will have addition problems. We'll come on, we'll come on to those in a moment. First, let's remind ourselves the different symbols that are used when comparing numbers or sets of numbers. So what we have is we've got this one here. That one means less than equals and more than so let's look at our first example suppose you have this we've got 16 plus 33 16 plus 33 and on the other side we have 51 so we've got 16 plus 33 on one side and 51 as the other number. Which symbol are we going to place between them? Well, the first stage is to do the addition on the left. So 16 plus 33. Now you should know how to do this by now, but we'll go through it again. How many tens are there? There's one over there and there's three over here. One plus three is four. So that's 40. Now let's do the units. We've got 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3 is 9. So 40 plus 9 is 49. So now we are comparing the number on the left, which is 49, and the number on the right, which is 51. So which number is smaller? Now this is nice and easy. We know that 49 has got 4 tenths, and 51 has got 5. So 4 is less than 5, therefore the symbol we have to use is this one. Because 49 is less than 51. So therefore, this now reads 16 plus 33 is less than 51. It's as simple as that. Let's have a look at our second example. Now suppose we have 26 plus 43 and on the other side we've got 35 plus 32. So now we've got addition on both sides. Before we can decide which symbol to put in, we have to do the addition. So let's do that first. So here we've got, how many tens have we got? This is mental arithmetic. We've got 2 plus 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6. So that is 60. And now we're going to add the units. We've got 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3 is 9. So that number becomes 69. What about on this side? Well, how many tens are there? We've got 3 and another 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6. That becomes 60. Plus, how many units are there? Well, we've got 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. So that becomes 67. So we are now comparing number 69 and number 67. So which of these numbers is larger and which is smaller? Now, this is not really that difficult. Because we know that 67 is going to come before 69. The 6 the 6. Both of these are 10s, so you can ignore those and go straight to the units. we got 9 and 7. 7 is smaller than 9. Therefore, the arrow should go like that. It points towards a smaller number, which is 67. So this now reads, 26 plus 43 is greater than, or more than, 35 plus 32. Now let's just... Uh, Scroll down so that we can work through a third example. Now suppose we've got 47 plus 26. And on the other side we have 34 plus 39. Again, it's very simple. First stage, do the addition. Do the calculation. 
So what have we got here? We've got tens, we've got four plus two. Four plus two is six. So we've got 60. And the units, we've got seven plus six. Now do you recall what seven plus six is? Seven plus six is 13. So this now becomes six plus the one is seven. So we've got 70 plus three equals 73. That's the number we're using, 73. How about this side? Well, this side we've, look at the tens, we've got three and three. So three and three is six, so that is 60. How many units have we got? It's four plus nine. Four plus nine is 13. This now becomes 60 plus the 10. So that is 70 plus the three units that are left over, 73. Now have a look at this. We've got 73 over here. And we've got 73 over here. They're both exactly the same. Therefore, we place the equal sign. And so this now reads 47 plus 26 equals or is the same as 34 plus 39. Now when you're faced with comparing numbers and addition problems, always make sure you do the addition first before deciding which is larger, which is smaller, and maybe it is even equal to.